Stop is Charles Gay. Then just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have Turk me. What it do, what it do, it's 903 Boxing, I'm your host, Charles Jack. Say, man, shout out to my audience, shout out to those that rocking with me, and yeah, we back in the kitchen, and it's a whole lot of goddamn sauce in this pot, man. Let's get to the shit. Javante Davis has been released. Yep, been released, um, breaking news, um, listen, um, I, I feel like he was wrongfully locked up, uh, the judge was fucking with him. And I guess wanted to make an example out of another black athlete and shit like that. Uh, definitely thought he was wrongfully put in jail. Um, but they put him in there and they got out. Um, uh, ain't no need of talking about your, the crime you was facing or none of that. Third. I just got to get straight to the boxing, man. Um, we've been waiting to hear from you. Uh, we want to know your next move. Uh, I expect to see you in December. I, I expect to see you come back in December. Um... Little, little whispers that it's going to be Devin Haney. Uh, listen, I'm just going to say my thoughts. Um, I think, I think, I think, I, I've been saying this since I started this channel. I think Devin Haney versus Tank is the second biggest fight in boxing behind Spence versus Crawford. And a lot of people don't like to hear that, and many don't want to accept it, but it's a reality. Um, because we've been so caught up in... Um, Everybody try to blame Floyd for saying that the black versus the Mexican is the biggest fight or whatever and shit like that. But it's not always true. Um, anyway, like I said, um, I think Devin versus Tank is the biggest. And the reason why, and the reason why it's even bigger now to me is because I think that Loma fight, I think it really made Devin a villain because everybody been calling him out ever since that fight. And I just think it's the effect of people... You know, a lot of fans really want to see Devin get knocked out. And the possibility that Tank can knock him out. And it's also a lot of Devin Haney fans that really think Devin can outbox uh, Tank. So, it, it, it's it's a 50-50 battle here. Um, yeah, a lot of people think that Devin can outbox Tank. But many people, and maybe even more people, think that Tank going to clip uh, Devin. A lot of people really think Tank going to clip Devin. My opinion, um... I think I think Devin beats Tank. I think he beat him, but I think he gets clipped. One of them, kind of like Sugar Shane Mosley versus Floyd. I see, <laughs> yeah, I see him getting clipped and coming back strong and finishing. I, I I see him beating Tank. Also, I'm gonna say something even more controversial. Um, I think Shakur beats Tank easier than Devin, but the fight won't be as exciting. Devin versus Tank will be a fan friendly style because I'm telling you. Devin going to come out boxing, and Tank going to, somewhere in the middle rounds to late rounds, Tank going to press the gas, and that's when it's going to be some shit. And so, I'm just saying, me personally, I think Tank is going to have a hard time even hitting Shakur, and that way, that's why I say a lot of people may think it's a boring fight, because I don't think he's going to be able to really hit Shakur, but don't get it twisted, Tank got a chance of beating Shakur and Devin, don't get it twisted, but it's just my opinion, uh, styles make fights. I think Shakur... Beats Tank easier than Devin does, but I think Devin possibly beats Shakur. I think Devin got the best style to beat Shakur with the length, the range, and the boxing ability. It just it, it, styles make fights. So um, yeah, that's what I want to see. I think Devin Haney versus Tank. It it, it got that Hagler Leonard kind of feel, but but much more different, much more different. It just that. I know Tank gonna be the he gonna be the come forward fight. He gonna be coming for and he gonna try to clip them. That's gonna be a tricky fight. That's gonna be a tricky fight. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say this. A lot of people talking about Frank Martin, and I feel like this. I feel like Frank Martin. Nobody talks about this, and that's why I say a lot of fan base. I hear a lot of fans, and and you know, like I said, many Tank fans don't don't agree with the shit I say. Uh, I talk a lot of uh, Bud fans won't agree. With, a lot of fans won't agree with me because at this point, I told you I ain't picking no side. I'm, I'm just choosing who I think gonna win, and that's that. Not finna war with you, motherfucker. None of that there. But um, now, now, um, 
Spence fans, when it come down to it, it, it just seems like it's only smoke for Bud. Why is there no promotion for Frank Morton? Because if you fuck with Spence, why is there no promotion for Frank Morton? Why you ain't you supposed to fuck with who we fuck with? Uh, Frank Morton is signed to Earl Spence. Why is there no promotion on YouTube? I don't see none of you motherfuckers. I, but you got so much shit to say about Bud, and he's scared, and that this fight ain't even close. I, I hear motherfuckers saying this fight ain't even close, and I've heard people say that uh, Terrence Crawford gonna beat Earl Spence, and it ain't close. I'm hearing so many people say that this fight ain't close. Then why the hell you want to see it so bad? A lot of you motherfuckers really nervous. So, like I said. I just don't think it's a lot of promotion. And, and, and it's not just Spence fan. And it ain't no diss. I'm just talking a little shit. But more so than Spence fan, I think Al Heyman, I, my question is like, why are you not promoting Frank Morton? Like, why is Frank Morton not the co-main to the uh, Earl Spence versus Crop? That would have been perfect. That would have been the exposure he needed, bro. Listen, man. This is the second time you putting Isaac Pitbull Cruz on the co-main of an Earl Spence fight. The last time was against a gamble or somebody who he was supposed to knock out and devastating fast. You put him in the Cowboy Stadium in the co-main event and the world saw that. Listen, let me tell you something. This is why I don't I don't do that weird shit and try to take I don't take over for no promoter. I'm not gonna ride with Al because he black, because he do weird shit. And in my opinion, I think Al favor Mexicans more than he do black. Uh look at what look at how he done Gary Russell Jr. Gary Russell Jr. called uh Leo Santa Cruz out for over five years. Santa Cruz never fought him, but he got the fight with Tank. But that was the fight Gary Russell was calling for. But not nah, man, look how he looked out for Leo Santa. Even after he got knocked out by Tank, he still got good fights and good paydays. So it, it's a lot of shit. And when it come to Isaac Pitbull Cruz, I, man, listen, Isaac Pitbull Cruz is getting put in positions he don't even deserve, bro. You lost the Tank, and you ain't done shit since. You ain't fought no top contenders since. You fought Gamboa after you lost the tank, bro. Like, the, the the treatment he get. And I'm going to tell you what's even more that shows that boxing is so fake. Isaac Pitbull Cruz is, to me, the second biggest Mexican star in boxing behind Canelo. Uh, I think Isaac Pitbull Cruz, he's a bigger name than Oscar Valdez, which that shouldn't be the case. He's bigger than Navarrete. He's bigger than a lot of Mexican fighters, bro. Isaac Pitbull Cruz, but let me tell you the fakeness in boxing. When they was calling for the Shakur versus Isaac Pitbull Cruz fight, the fans did not jump on that. Fans wasn't excited, bro, because stylistically, when you look at that fight, bro, Shakur would make him miss all night, bro, and have him falling all over the fucking ring. Uh, Shakur is a stylistic nightmare for Isaac Cruz, so fans didn't jump behind that. No, because Shakur got the best defense in box. He was going to pick Cruz apart, make him look like he don't even need to buy. I'm telling you, bro. Shakur, bro, his his eye, his vision in the ring, that kind of style just come forward throwing wild punch. Shakur would have clipped him, bro. Shakur would have hit him with so much shit he didn't see come. That would have been one of the best performances of Shakur. You think he had Valdez running his head through the rope? Bro, Cruz is already clumsy. Man, Shakur would have destroyed him. But let me tell you something about Barson. If Cruz was the, if they was the order Cruz versus Devin Haney, that fight would do over a million pay per view buys. That fight there would be huge, and all Mexican fans would come out. Everybody would come out for that fight because a lot of people think, because Devin get hit more than Shakur. So a lot of people would think, man, Cruz might clip Devin. See, it's only a big fight when it's a chance that the Mexican might clip the black fighter. That, that's the only time, just like Ryan. They thought Ryan was going to clip Tank. That's why it was a big fight. So anyway, it, why it ain't a big fight with Cruz and Shakur? Like I said, because Shakur was going to pick him apart, bro, and make him look like he don't belong. But anyway, like I said, um, the fact that they putting him on the co-main of Earl Smith versus uh, Crawford, bro, it just, it just, they, they just, it's like all Cruz been doing ever since that Tank fight is fighting easy fights so he can get the rematch. Bro, at this point, Tank, I've been hard on you uh, ever since I started this channel, but I have gave you your credit. I say you phenomenal. You're a special fighter. I say Devin, Tank, and Shakur are special fighters. But I'm going to go a step further. I think Frank Morton is special. And I think Frank Morton can beat either one of them fighters. I'm not saying he will, but he can. He got the tools to do it, bro. And the biggest, um, the biggest thing people underestimate about Frank Morton is not only is he awkward, and he got great footwork. He got devastating power, too. So he can't clip you. But 
it just when I look at this shit, bro, it is set up for because Tank gonna be at the Smith versus Crawford fight. It is set up for Cruz to get the rematch. Undeserving, bro. He beat you with one hand. So I heard Coach Calvin. Coach Calvin want that rematch so bad. And you want to make up for that, bro. And I'm telling you, that shit might do 2 million pay-per-view buys if uh, Tank rematch Cruz. But I'm telling you right now, bro, all you, you you just giving an undeserving fighter a puncher's chance because that's all he fucking got. There's some wild punches he throw, bro. He's not, not certified, bro. He's not certified, and he ain't trying to fight the best. So, I don't know. In my opinion, I like I said, I'd like to see you fight Shakur or Devin or, or Frank Martin. Or even, or even go up to 140 and shit like that. But, um, like I said, you're a special fighter, man. But, you know, it. Well, what, what pissed me off about it, mainly black fans. I, I really, at this point, most of my smoke is for black. The fact that people say Devin Haney is clout chasing tight. It, the fact that people can say that, but Cruz been sitting around waiting for two years to get this rematch and ain't done, done fought Gamboa and all these trash ass fighters. And this dude, he fighting uh, on the Spence and Crawford undercourt. He set up to knock him out, bro. And the dude he fighting don't got power to keep him off. So it's it just a setup. And like I said, it ain't clout chasing when he do it, though. It wasn't clout chasing when Ryan done, done it. Like I said, Tank, you're going to get your best work with Devin, Shakur, and Frank. Tell you, that, them, them right there going to give you your best work. And a lot of people think, well, Tank versus T.O. at 140, that's a good fight. I said in my last video, bro, um, Tank beat a, a, a fighter he was supposed to beat in Josh Taylor with the style that Josh Taylor fought, the no adjustments, the style, the come forward style he fought, he was supposed to beat him. Till Fimo gets stopped by Tank, bro, inside six rounds. As soon as he do that leaping ass hook, he going to get caught, bro, with an uppercut. It's going to be more flush than that uh, Leo Santa Cruz uppercut. <laughs> but anyway, so a lot of these motherfuckers is capped, bro. Um... <laughs> You know, but the motherfuckers who dis discredit us the most is our own. So, you know, this, this little war with Devin and Tank, I told you, I'm not finna join that shit. I just want to see the fight. I'm not going to join this little war with Devin, uh, Haney versus Shakur. I'm not going to join that shit, bro. I'm just going to see the fight just like I'm going to ride Spence versus Crawford. Like I said, bro, a lot of you motherfuckers, if you ain't got shit to talk, if you ain't got nothing to talk about, a fighter getting exposed. Or, you know how many motherfuckers really need to be exposed, bro? Usyk fought Joshua. I'm, I'm going to keep saying that shit. A robotic fighter that was tailor-made for him. And you motherfuckers got him top five, pound for pound. But his run to Undisputed at Cruiserweight was trash. Name name three of the fighters he fought at Cruiserweight to become Undisputed. And he finna fight Daniel Dubois after turning down the Wilder fight. We forget that. Daniel Dubois' style is tailor-made for Usyk. So I just want you to see how some of these motherfuckers move. Look at Fatback Fury finna fight Francis Ngannou for the WBC title. Francis Ngannou has never stepped foot inside of a ring, but he finna fight for a world title. I, I, got, a, I got a video coming about Fatback Fury. But anyway, um, it just I see certain fighters do what the fuck they want. But when black fighters do it, um, we get criticized. And the first motherfucker that's going to criticize us is the one that looked the most like us. So yeah, this is 903 Boss, and I'm your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.